Good day buddies. I hope you're doing well out there. In today's video, we'll be moving a mature ant colony to the formicarium that we just modified on the past episode. Let's all witness how would they react to the new setup. And we will also feed them and see how the colony swarm in everyday feeding. And I would like to say, I'm beyond grateful to our buddy Davy. For the first super thanks, received by the channel. That's a much appreciated support for the ants. Thank you. Anyway, welcome back buddies. And for those new to the channel, you're also welcome to D Colony. I started the move by transferring the water feeder with ants to the new outworld. Those worker ants are obviously the first to discover the future nesting place. After that, I connected the old one to the new setup. Look at how many workers came to check the new place. Anyway, I also transferred this feeding plate from the old outworld. I know, buddies, the outworld is kinda small for the colony. But don't worry, we'll be adding more outworlds in the future for sure. Two hours after the introduction, before I go to bed. The migration has begun, as workers started carrying the youngsters to the new nest. The first thing I did in the morning, is of course check the colony. Cause I'm too excited for this. What a jammed packed nest we have here. Unlike the outer mini nest on the right. We have a lot of workers on top of this part. Cause I blocked the test tube hole with a silicon plug, which ends up elevating the glass. Creating a space for the workers to bypass the walls. They also transferred the food they've gathered, they made the outer part of each nest as storage chambers. I wanna show you the massive pile of broods buddies, but as you can see, most part of the nest look like this. Some broods, and lots of workers hanging on the glass. We can barely see the flooring. Or what lies, under this worker ants. But I'm sure, there's a lot of broods in there. They don't have enough nesting space, cause I miscalculated the colony's population. There's still a lot of young workers in the outworld, and on this tubing as well. Luckily, I've been working on additional nests these past few days, preparing for this kind of situation. Let's give it to them. So we can also see some of the broods, after the colony members spread up. I'm gonna use a long tubing to connect them here, cause this setup is located on the shelves, and there will be a divider in between them. Reason why we can't connect the nest the normal way, that we did on the other parts. Anyway, I forgot to tell you buddies. This is my two years old tetramorium colony, that we just moved recently, to the first nest that we modified. They loved the nest, and it's working fine with them. So it's time to try it on a more sensitive species. Some of you may ask, why I keep moving this colony, cause just this year. This is their third time to move to a new nest, and the reason buddies is. They are my nest testers, cause they're so easy to move, and hardy as well. If this colony rejects a nest, I believe most ants will surely do the same. But don't worry, they are already retired as testers. I will now keep them here, as long as possible. We will just slowly expand the setup as needed. I decided to retire them, as they are now too big to move on, and on. Plus I also have some new tetramorium colonies. Two of them are here, and this colonies will be my new testers. Their test tubes are so dirty. I know. I will be moving them to fresh tubes later this day. I believe we got three new different species of tetramorium, and I will be making a video about them soon. Anyway. The old nest were mostly abandoned, so we just disconnected it, and tap the remaining workers on the outworld. This nest are used to be filled, with massive amount of broods. They're still working fine. But the disadvantage is it's harder to observe them here. Speaking of observation, let's check the nest. A lot of them, have already moved to the newly added nest. Young workers, and some broods. 
but the move were still on progress. I'm still waiting for this huge number of workers stacked on the disconnected tubing, to also move in. The rest of the nest was still jammed packed, but at least we have some free space now, to focus the camera on the lower part of the nest. Look at that massive pile of broods. I believe, the colony has ton of queens now. As I spotted a lot during my observations. We started the colony with a single queen, but I suspect them of doing inbreeding, like their famous relative, Tetramorium bicarinatum. Which I also used to keep before. Let's zoom a little bit, to see this queen over here. Her wings is slowly getting shred by the workers, but did you know buddies, that without the short wings, it's so difficult to notice the queens, as the size difference between them and the workers is only about one millimeter. I will try to focus the camera on nest parts that has an opening, and let's see how many queens can you spot on the comments. For the last part of the video, let's give the ants one of their favorite meal. Crickets. This feeding clip was taken during the move buddies, the reason why we have a lot of young workers, or the light colored ants feeding. There might be an error on following the pheromones. Cause on their old setup. Most ants in the outworld are the oldies, or the dark colored workers, like this one. I just hope you have learned something from this video guys. Be a genie for the first time, by granting my wish and tapping the like and share button, that would help a lot. This is D Colony, saying goodbye, for now, but hoping to see you on my next videos.